Last one standing will win a $10,000 prize and take home the golden ornament. A delight for the eyes. Yeah. How did they find you? Did they reach out to you? Did you have to apply? How does this work? Yeah, so actually Food Network reached out to me. I laughed when I got it because I had just had a conversation with my mother-in-law last Christmas. She asked me if I would ever be on the show. And I said to her while watching it, I was like, no, like, no, I would never do that. You know, there's too much pressure. You need to know all these different recipes. I'm a newer baker. Um, at the time, I'd only been doing it for two years and was completely self-taught. And so I just felt like I didn't have enough experience and skill level yet. But when that message came through, my husband was like, when is Food Network ever going to reach out to you ever again for this? And I'm like, oh man, you're right. <laughs> so I decided to go for it. This week's five amazing cookie makers are pondering that right now. I am living in the San Juan Islands. I live in Friday Harbor. I run Driftless Cookies. Originally, I was raised in Southwest Wisconsin in the Driftless area, so it was untouched by glaciers. I am actually a full-time special education teacher. This is my 10th year teaching, and in my free time, I love doing arts and crafts and picking up different hobbies. My first cookie I ever made was three years ago in November. Do you feel prepared to see yourself on national television? I tell you, it's a roller coaster of emotions. You look good! What has been the reaction of your friends and neighbors there on the San Juans? I went to the grocery store the other day, and they're like, oh, there's the celebrity. And I'm like, oh my gosh, now people know who I am. Ultimately, were your mother-in-law and husband right? <laughs> they were right. It was honestly, being on Food Network was an experience of a lifetime. It was fun being a part of that and being a little piece of Christmas Cookie Challenge.